what lessons do you guys take away from a game like this? What do you learn from a game like this? Um, I mean, I think we just have to, I think we're a little separated today. Um, you know, we got to play more as a team and stay together. I feel like stretches during the game, you know, we kind of drifted apart um, on both sides of the ball and that, and that hurt us. So, you know, we just got to learn to stick together and, you know, do what we do. I feel like we had a lot of lapses on the defensive end that, you know, just caused them to have more energy throughout the game. <clears throat> Sticking with those defensive lapses, coach was not thrilled with the defense at Florida State. Did you feel like it was similar things or a totally different opponent, totally different kind of issues tonight? Um, yeah, I feel like it was a little bit. Um, the things that showed up today were in the Florida State game as well. So it was a little bit of those things and then some different, um, you know, because they have different offenses, so different type of, um, you know, mistakes and ball screen coverages that we had. Um, just a little slow on today. Breeze, Tony kind of suggested that maybe towards the end you guys maybe lost your composure a little bit and got a little bit frantic. Um, you know, you guys haven't been in a situation like that in a while, especially mm -hmm. at home. Did it feel like that to you? I mean, a little bit. I feel like we got um, a little snagged on the offensive end and they, their offense kept going. So, you know, we just got to figure out ways to um, stop those, you know, scoring jouts for us and, you know, clean it up on the defensive end. There aren't a lot of players as big and strong as Henson who shoot that well from outside. What what challenges does he pose for a defense? Um, yeah, you know, for our pack line, you know, we like to keep it in the paint, but he's spreading the court out. So, you know, it makes the um, closeouts a little farther. You know, he was, he was on fire today. I don't know how many threes he hit, but he hit a lot from the start. So, yeah, um, that was a, just a good game from him, and he, he played well. There's a, obviously, this is a good thing, but it's been a while since you've had to bounce back from a loss. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the mindset, kind of where you guys go, you were on a roll. How do you avoid this becoming, you know, anything more than just one night where you lose a game? Yeah, I think we get some rest um, tomorrow um, and then, you know, prepare well for a very good Wake team that beat us earlier. So, you know, I still think we got the, you know, got the right mindset. We just got to clean up on, you know, a couple of things. I feel like we'll be all right. Hey, Isaac, uh, Coach was not pleased with the defense at Florida State tonight, obviously, that they were able to, to break 70 against you guys. Did you see similar issues defensively or with a totally different opponent? Were there different kind of breakdowns? Yeah, there were definitely different kind of breakdowns because, you know, Florida State was just putting their head down and driving, trying to get to the foul line and stuff like that. But this team was picking, popping, you know, shooting a lot of threes. And that was a big emphasis for us was to get into shooters. And, you know, we didn't do a good job of that. They made however many threes, four, 14 threes. So, it's hard to beat a team that makes 14 threes. So, um, you know, we'll look at the film and see what we can do better. But, yeah, we got to tighten some things up for sure. Yeah, I guess a team that shoots as many threes as that, do you have to change kind of what you do on the pack line significantly or is it just minor things? Yeah, I mean, we, we prepared a few different ways, you know, leading up to this game because we knew we were going to try a few different coverages on their, you know, ball screen separates. And we tried a few different things, but they, you know, they just kept hitting shots. So, um, you know, we're just going to, you know, see what we can do better, look at the film. But, you know, they did a good job of, you know, picking and popping, and they made shots, so got to give them credit for that. There's been a lot of talk about how defense fuels offense for you guys. Is there some level of frustration? Like, even there were a few lapses where they were open for three, but they hit some tough threes. Does that frustration carry over offensively, and you feel like you have to keep up with this sort of track meet of deep shots? Yeah, you know, we're not necessarily a team that – plays well from behind because, you know, we're not the fastest team. You know, we don't try and, like, push in transition too much. So it's hard whenever we get behind like that and they're hitting tough shots. Um, so, yeah, I would say definitely, you know, sometimes when they when they hit a tough shot like that, it deflates you. It's like, man, like, we played good defense for 29 seconds and then they hit a tough one at the end of the shot clock or whatever. So sometimes, yeah, that can deflate you. But, you know, we can't let that happen. we got to, you know, keep the offense and defense separate, um, not let, you know, them hitting shots affect our offense or affect our defense. We just got to, you know, keep playing. So, yeah. Uh, looking ahead slash looking back, Wake Forest, you, you played them once. They hit 10 threes against you. Um, similar things that, that you can take away from this game that go into that, or do they go about it differently? Uh, yeah, some, some, same, some things similar. You know, they got a guy that can pick and pop like that. They got some really good guards that can get downhill and, you know, make passes, kick out threes and stuff like that. So it'll be a very tough game for sure. We're going to rest up tomorrow and then two good prep days. Looking forward to Wake Forest, and hopefully we can get a win. Thank you, guys.